I look rough as usual, guys, but I'm gonna get myself together. So I'm trying to motivate myself to work out now, but it's not happening. I'm starving, I don't even feel like cooking. And I feel like I'm not full lately when I've been eating, so I have to figure that out. But um, yeah, I just wanted to say good morning. And Jackson, does he wanna say good morning? Jackson wanted to say good morning. Um, this is crazy. I'm about to watch the story about this high school shooting yesterday that I didn't know about until yesterday night. But I'm trying to motivate myself to not go buy food. I'm trying to motivate myself to cook and to work out. But I will nine times out of ten just try to work out later today. Preferably if he naps on time, I want to work out when he naps. So. I didn't go buy food. Woo! Got a piece of wheat toast with some margarine, turkey sausage, egg white, spinach, green onions, fresh peeled garlic, and uh, what do you call this? Table blend. Mrs. Dash's table blend. So I think I did pretty good. And I'll probably eat these little apples that I uh, cut for Jackson earlier. And I was scared for him to eat them in the car. So... I'll probably go ahead and smash those out. Good morning. You know what time it is. You already know. It's cold. <clears throat> a lot more cold than yesterday. Let me get in the light at least a little bit. It's a lot more cold than yesterday. Um, so it's, it's been hard for me to want to come outside this morning. But I have been sleeping like crap. And it, it sucks because when I work out, I usually sleep the best. But I don't know. Like, it's been this second night. I just slept like crap. So pray for me. Um, I don't know what's going on. I thought maybe the night before last night it was because I had coffee. And I'm pretty sure it was a stronger coffee than I've had in a while. Because when my man got home the day before yesterday, he was just like, you were like, uh, uh, uh. <laughs> like, I guess I was overwhelming him when he first got home because I was so hyper, but I didn't realize it until he pointed it out. And I was like, well, it might have been that coffee because that was my first day doing the Starbucks. Um, it's probably been three nights. Because I've been drinking, I drunk Starbucks not yesterday. But two days before. So yeah, three nights of sucky sleep, actually. Let's get ready to go to the gym. See y'all there. Alright. We're here. Let me go ahead and get it done, y'all. I don't want to. <laughs> what to? I don't want to. Why can't it just be smaller? Like, naturally smaller. I don't want to be skinny. I don't even want to be thin. I just want to be naturally smaller. Like, it's so easy for me to lose weight and so easy for me to gain weight. I'm gonna have to do some research and see what that's about. Cause it's crazy. It's crazy. It's so easy for me to gain weight and it doesn't go in any of the flattering places. That's another thing. I'm not naturally smaller. And I want to be, you know, kind of thick. I just want not fat, back fat rolls. I don't want flabby arms. And I don't want a flabby stomach. Everything else I could work with, honestly. But this, those three things, what, back fat, arms, flabby stomach, I can't. And every time I gain any little piece of weight, it's going to the back fat rolls and the stomach. Doesn't go to my butt and the arms. Goes to the flabby arms. It doesn't go to my butt period it doesn't even got my boobs anymore my boobs are not they're not even getting bigger i just oh. <laughs> i'm tired i'm tired i'm so tired y'all just want to sleep the rest of the day that's how i'm feeling now but i'm confident when i go home and take a shower oh uh, i should feel better i hope I just hate nowadays I don't get home early enough to take a shower before I drop them off. I used to get home early enough to take a shower before I drop them off, but I don't know how I was making it happen. 
But I guess I gotta go. I gotta go home. It's six o'clock. I need to. Cadence is lunch packed. So maybe if I hurry, 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 I can hop in the shower and get a lunch pack. Hopefully Jackson's still asleep. If he's up, that's gonna throw me off. But I didn't. I went to the gym today. But today, I'm proud of myself. I'm proud of myself. Gym insecurities, I wanted to talk about that. <laughs> I'm not like so young and dumb that you know I care about every single thing that everybody does. I try not to look like let my tiredness take over me. Like I try not to like plop down or just like look super exhausted before I get in the locker room. Until I get in the locker room, that's when I'll sit back and chill and just be like, like I'm so tired. But before, I'm not doing it. I'm not doing it until I get in the locker room. So I don't give in to my tiredness until I get in the locker room. Yeah. That's a gym insecurity of mine. What's yours? It's time again. It might not look appetizing, but it is so good. Egg white, spinach, leftover mushroom from dinner last night, leftover white onion and purple onion, and then wheat toast with some margarine. Y'all, this is so good. I think I'm gonna add some red pepper and call it. Good morning. Um, sorry. I literally woke up, used the restroom, and brushed my teeth and put my workout clothes on. I'm going to the gym. It is a Sunday morning. This is a huge rarity that I, not huge, but it's a rarity that I go to the gym on Sundays. Um, but I just needed to get out and clear my head. I had a really lazy day yesterday. But I'm going to get up and get my day started. My week started today. Um, try to see if I can come back with a much better, clearer attitude. I just hope I can relax. Like, be relaxed mentally when I come back. Okay. Alright, so I'm at the gym. Now, let me go get my medicine in and I'll talk to y'all later. Good people. Y'all, I swear. I feel like... From the time I get done working out to going in the locker room, getting my stuff, coming back out of the locker room, getting to my car, I'm holding my breath. I'm not doing it on purpose, but I feel like it feels like I'm holding my breath. And I told y'all <laughs> a previous clip, in the previous clip, how I just like don't want to show my tiredness and exhaustion while I'm still in the gym. But y'all, oh, I'm tired. It's like I don't breathe until I literally get in the truck, like the whole time I'm in the gym. I don't know, obviously it's not like that because I wouldn't be living, but woo! We had a pretty good day. It was something I needed. And it wasn't too crazy, but it was something I needed. The treadmill, I haven't done the treadmill in a while. And I did that treadmill and I feel like I could have went home after that. And I only did it for 10 minutes. <laughs> I was just like, oh, two more minutes, one more minute, like 30 more seconds. <sighs> Quick tip to you guys. If you go to the gym, but you're not like, I go to the gym, but I wouldn't call myself like a gym rat. Like I wouldn't say I'm like an expert. A lot of the machines I do, I really have to look at the instructions and the pictures. And sometimes I still don't get it quite right. Um, well, when I first started going to this one. Um, but just me in general, I don't know machines like that so much. When it comes to all those settings and all that... Honestly, I recommend you just pick cardio. So whether you're on the treadmill, whether you're on the stair master or the stairs or whatever, the automatic stair master, the bike, the stationary bike, whatever those automatic machines, I always choose cardio and just put in your information as close to as possible, like your weight, your age and everything. And what it does is it guarantees you a um, challenging fit cardio workout and that's the whole reason to being on those machines so do cardio 
trust me I don't care what machine it is if it has cardio option choose cardio put in the information keep your hands on the little heart rate monitors so you're actually doing the cardio workout because it determines how fast or how slow for the treadmill specifically the incline the slowness the speed all of that is determined by the heart rate monitor so you have to keep your hands on them so as you work out it knows when to adjust and when not to adjust um the stairs they don't change incline but it'll change you know the speed and everything based on your hands being on those monitors for one do cardio try it out i swear if you just did all machines uh, automatic machines your whole workout while you're at the gym it'll be the craziest day workout of your life like it'll be crazy awesome though crazy awesome but do cardio Two, make sure you keep your hands on the heart rate monitors as much as you can. Like, it'll tell you to put them back on there. It'll tell you it doesn't have you picked up if you don't have both of them on there. But try to keep them on there no matter how tired you are. Unless you're about to pass out, obviously, press your emergency stop. But try to keep it on there. And the 20 minutes you did on a manual versus the 10 minutes you do on a cardio, you're going to get so much out of that cardio setting for 10 minutes versus a 20 minutes manual i guarantee you i love it so that was just a quick tip a little fitness tip i'm not by any means let me reiterate a certified physical therapist nutritionist trainer whatever i would like to get into that but i feel like i can't do that something like that until i'm where i want to be physically and consistently but that's something I've always thought about for years. But I am certified within my own weight loss, my own experience, not a doctor. So you don't have to listen to me. Obviously consult your doctor, period, before you work out. However, this is what I have found to work nine times out of ten. So talk to y'all later. I'm about to go home, take a shower, have some coffee. Um, read my devotional and just try to get my mind right. The kids are probably up. It's like 11, 12, 8, 12, I mean, in the morning. So, they're probably, Jackson I know is up. But the other girls might be lazy in the bed still. But, yeah, I'm about to go. Let's talk to y'all later. Peace. Oh, y'all already know what time it is. Let me get right here. Oh, yeah, there we go. So, you already know what time it is. You can see that Planet Fitness up there. You see it? Yeah. I'm about to go in the gym for a bit. Doing arms today. I've been putting this off. But I gotta do it. I can't stand doing arms, but my arms and my stomach need the most work. I can stand doing my abs way more than my arms. So I'm gonna do arms. I've been thinking about going back to my pescatarian diet. I just feel so bloated and huge in the belly area. Um, I know obviously I need to lose weight there and I have belly fat, but I feel like straight up bloated in the area. So I um felt some of the best i ever felt when i was on that pescatarian diet i probably did it for about two months um i honestly don't know what made me go back to eating red meat and poultry but i did anyways i need to hurry up and go in here because i'm already late getting here it's almost 5 15 and i try to be home by six o'clock at the latest um to get myself together i still have to pack cadence's lunch and um get them sent off to school so let's go in here do us a nice quick hardcore workout like i said we're working arms today oh, hello this looks really dark i'm wondering if it's gonna flash all right so y'all i just got out of the gym i'm so tired i'm so tired um I'm glad I went ahead and got up today to go to the gym. I really, really, really try to go every Monday because it's the start of a new week. Um, so, I try to go every Monday because I feel like it kind of sets the tone for the week. Now, I can overcome the tone if it's not right, but I feel like going every week does set the tone. So, um, I went yesterday. I went today. I want to try to go. I was doing my goal was three days a week because um, when I calculated that, ten dollars a month um going three days a week is definitely gonna be worth it because what's it four times three is twelve so if i go three days a week at least um i'm paying less than a dollar a day to go so financially motivation is okay 
financial motivation is good motivation to go to the gym to work out to lose weight to get in shape um obviously physical and health is the best mo health is the best motivation as well um obviously and physical is great motivation and when i say physical i just mean the overall look of your body um health and physical my alarm six o'clock health and physical are not the same thing so do be advised so to me it's not the same thing I worked out my arms there's like a thousand arm machines in there and some of them I'm not even sure how to work so um all else feels free weighted do those free weights if you you know don't want to look like silly trying to figure out the machines and stuff I tried it so let me go my arms are weak the camera's shaking because <laughs> my arms are weak and I know it's just gonna be worse tomorrow so hopefully we can get back in here tomorrow and do our abs and do a lot of squats so.